Second of Samuel 12, here David is being told by God the exact dimensions of his sin with, with Bathsheba. He saw the woman next door, who he knew and who was the wife of his faithful servant Uriah, and he sleeps with her and gets her husband murdered. And God tells him why that's wrong. He says, I gave you all that you needed. I gave your master's wives, that Saul's wives, to you. Actually, he was married to Saul's daughter as well as to Saul's wives. So he actually married a mother and her daughter. And he had multiple wives whom God gave him. So God is saying, look, there was no excuse for you indulging your sexual passion of a moment. I gave you a number of wives. I allowed you to infringe the letter of my law in this area. And if that would have been too little, I would have given you more. If you needed more women, I would have given it to you. I would have given them to you. So, you see, God knows your exact spiritual limit. 1 Corinthians 10 promises us that we will never be tempted too much. God will always make a way of escape that you might be able to bear it. That's what God did with David and his sexual lust. But David committed the sin of presumption. He thought, no, no, that's not enough. I need more. That, in essence, is every man's sin, because Romans 4 presents David's sin as every man's sin, every woman's sin. All sin is like what he did. And there is no way out from it, apart from throwing yourself upon God's grace. The point is, we decide that, oh, this situation is too much for me. These are my natural desires. I must do this. No. God makes the concession. Not you. This is our problem. We think that I can allow myself this because of this, that and the other. No. We are not to make that decision. God will provide the way of escape that we might be able to bear temptation. Not you and me. That is a fundamental thing that you have to realize in your spiritual growth, in your desire not to sin, to recognize that God does know your limits and to trust. That is what faith means, to trust that God knows your limits. You don't know them. He does. And he will not allow you to be pushed over.